What is going on, everybody? My name is Cod Gameplay, or better known as Brett. Got that mixed up. Let's keep on going. Let's keep on trucking. I'm using the G11, and this gun is a beast. I'm playing on firing range, and this is probably my third favorite map on Black Ops. First, actually, no, this is probably my first favorite map on Black Ops. I love this map so much. So much versatility with any gun you use. Doesn't matter if you're using an SMG Russian, if you're sitting back a bit with a G11 as I'm doing, or a FAMAS or a Galil. I love this map so much. There's lots of cover for people that sit back. There's lots of room to rush. Lots of routes. It's pretty small, relatively small. So it's a great designed map, in my opinion. So, what I'm here to talk about to you guys is, first off, I'm going to talk about the matchmaking. Now, everybody's complaining about the matchmaking. I'm somewhat complaining about the matchmaking, but not a ton. But for the time being, that is kind of broken. And this did happen with World at War. The exact same thing did happen with World at War. But before you guys start going insane, look how, how many people are actually playing this game. Seriously, look how many people are playing this game, and I just got triple. At the beginning, I think there was 2.5 to 3 million people on at a time on the servers. You know how much people that is and how much like that's insane two million people and they're trying to match make you into a lobby of 12 people out of too many two million people so I have no problem waiting but they're saying that they're gonna patch it and I'm waiting for that although to help you guys a bit with matchmaking and for some reason my host is very strong I get host probably around 50% of the games that I ever play so that helps me out a lot and what I do and I never ever drop party members what I do is I go to settings and I switch it to local only so when you're in the pregame lobby you press select and it'll say if you wanna have it open I believe you wanna have a local first or something like that along those lines or local only and I go local only and the reasoning I do this is that it matches me up with a host from someone within let's just say a um, hundred miles from me and it'll look there first before branching out to farther distances so you'll get into a game with a better host and better yet it won't drop as many people even if people are in let's just say someone's in west coast someone's in east coast of the states or canada it won't drop them either unless you're someone from england and someone from uh... united states I could see people drop in for sure with that method, but from this method, I probably drop once every day so far. So that's nothing compared to what people are experiencing. Um, when I was in a party of I think it was eight, I was with GFX Lab, and we literally took I think it was 20 minutes getting into a game until we finally did. And I I forgot to tell them that you're supposed to go on local only, but that was ridiculous. So I can see everybody that's complaining. So go local only. You won't have as many issues as far as what I'm experiencing. But I really want to commentate and talk to you guys about some things, the kill streaks. And I have some, I don't have huge issues. I love this game. I'm having so much fun on this game. And that's the first thing that I want to tell you guys before I start giving suggestions. This is just a suggestions to anyone or to let's just say a uh, developer because this game is so awesome but there's some tiny things that could get changed and that would make the game that much better first off I'll start with the lowest kill streak RC car um I don't know RC cars seem a bit a bit too easy to get two kills two kills is nothing to get an RC car and once you have those two kills, an RC car is basically a guaranteed kill every single time. And that's you're a bit um, of a drunk driver. I think that you can manage to get one kill out of an RC car on basically any map, whether unless you're on, let's just say WMD and everybody's camping in the back or something. But an RC car, I think it lasts 30 seconds. My suggestion would be to maybe lower the timing. Let's just say to I don't know 15 seconds for an RC car make it less powerful 
by doing that, not decreasing the range or anything on the gun, but or the, on the kill streak, but possibly doing that. Also, care package. I know I lo I'm using the care package right now as I say that. <laughs> Go figure. And what I'm saying is with care package is the hardline pro. That combination is so lethal. It's not even funny because. I can run care package, I can run sentry gun, and I can run sam turret. Now if you guys didn't know this, you can actually switch all three of those. You can call in three care packages, basically, in one life. So you throw down all those care packages, and you ha have to have hardline pro, and then you can actually double tap X on each individual one, even sam turret and it'll switch it to a random thing so you can have three chances at a gunship I don't know that just seems a tiny bit overkill if you ask me although I'm using it this game so I shouldn't be uh... Whine <laughs> I'm not really whining but I shouldn't be uh... talking about it um... I think I'm gonna be running that for a bit the only downflaw about care packages which kind of makes it uh, less powerful is the fact that people can now booby trap them. So once you start getting to the later stages of the game, I think more people will have on Hacker Pro, and they'll be booby trapping your uh, care packages. Also, if you're playing any team deathmatch or even some domination, the spawns flip so much. So if you're calling down that care pack package, you need to guarantee that you're in a spot that is safe, and you're safe from any spawn flipping. Because if you throw down that care package, and then the spawn flits. That turns out to be dogs or gunship. That's not a good story. That is not a good scene for you or if that happened to me. So, I don't know. Just my opinions, guy. Guys, I'll probably have a part two coming up later. So, hope you guys enjoyed and have a great day. Peace.